All right, so excuse the helmet cam video. This is the only way I can really do this type of footage since I didn't feel like modifying my camera to go on a head cam mount camera. This is what I mountain bike with. So today we're installing a drift e brake, a extension, e brake extension for drifting on a G35. Um, anyone who has a G35, G37, 350Z, 370Z, they know that this e-brake location, you can see my arm is up against the seat here. This isn't good. It's really awkward to pull this and you don't get much leverage and it's really hard to lock up because of the position. The angle's just really bad on it. Um, so... What I did was, and you can see I cut too much off at first, so this is about a finger's width, like an inch, um, that I cut off, and you'll notice that, you know, this is at an angle here, and I cut it at the same angle. I cut along that same angle, just use this X-Acto blade, and just cut around, you know, um... And then, you know, cut it that way to get it opened up so I can pull it off. But I cut too much at first. And uh, realized I could have it a little longer. So, I, uh, I put this, glued this piece back on. But, if you don't want to make that mistake at first, just cut it short and then go longer if you need to. But, um, anyways, you can see, that's about the width I cut off and at an angle. You can see this has that same angle. And I'll show you in a little bit why that is important. So you can see you got three set screws in here. And this is a carriage bolt and this is a threaded hole. It comes with that threaded hole and the button. And this is so that you can extend this button down and it will push this. So it still works as a factory e brake. And so I got the threads are 10. 32 but this is actually a 10-24 carriage bolt and I did that on purpose so that as you turn it in it'll start threading but then it immediately like jams itself and locks so it won't unthread you know like it's actually on there and going nowhere you know um anyways so that slides through goes on to there and then this goes on, and you can see how, because I cut it at an angle, it goes on at an angle, and now that's flush up against the button. And we just tighten these set screws. set screws and you want to get them actually pretty damn tight because if you don't this could fly off you don't want that you don't want to strip them obviously don't strip the set screws but get them tight and it comes the this handle comes with the allen key even although I expect you'd have an allen key but you can see now it works. It works. And I can actually, like, get real good leverage over this guy, too, now. Like, it's really good. And, you know, of course, that means it'll lock up real good. And if, I mean, you can take this whole piece off. And this is here so that you can put a boot on it. So you can make your own boot. So, I mean, this is really a win-win. And it's on eBay and Amazon for $30. They call it a e-brake handle cover or sleeve um if you just type in handbrake handle you'll get these things all day listed to they come in all different styles like this one says nismo but they come like they accidentally sent me one that said rally art first you can get them without any writing um you know they come in all different colors and i mean for 30 bucks this is a way better solution to me than putting a hydro in a car that you're going to daily drive. 
because all this is still looking factory. And, you know, this works like factory, as you can see. It's like factory. And where this is like, really, how far I can pull it, like, see, that, I can't really pull it any farther than this, but out here, yeah, I get more. So, it definitely makes the e-brake stronger, and it is a must-have for drifting in a Nissan... G35, G37, 350Z, 370Z, any of those cars come with this weird e-brake position, and this is a must, and now I'll show you why we put it at an angle. So, if I drop this, you can see my fingers already are close to this, they're not actually, like my pinky's touching a little bit when I grab it fully, like this, my pinky's touching this metal ring. But if I had put that on straight, there would be no room for my hand. So, I'll come back here and show you, and I'll include some pictures or something. But you can see, because of the angle I put this at, you have room to get your hand under here. Whereas, you know, if I had put that straight, there'd be no way this would be flat up against that. Um, but yeah, I really hope this helps someone out. I'm sure it will. This is uh, something I've seen a lot of people question, ask wanting the solution for and finally here it is